Um, yeah, it's uh, it's what? It's uh, 43, 53. I wish it was 43. I'd be 10 years younger. It's it's 53 years since the first Earth Day. Uh, tomorrow is the official Earth Day, uh, 20, 22nd of April. Uh, the first Earth Day was in 1970. It basically, I, I, I would say, launched kind of the, the um, I don't know, the mainstreaming of the environmental movement. Um, it, it, it launched kind of the, the real, a real successful era for the environmentalist movement in terms of uh, government regulations. Almost all our regula government regulations, at least the, the, the initial ones, that, that are on the books today were all passed in the, uh, in the years uh, immediately after the first Earth Day, uh, one, uh, basically uh, all under Richard Nixon, a Republican, uh, the, 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 a number of uh, major uh, regulatory, um, uh, regulatory uh, bills were passed, and to this day, including the, the Clean Air and Clean Water Act, uh, of course, the you know another big piece of, of environmental regulations was passed under Bush. So indeed, most uh, I'd say most uh, the overwhelming majority of of the big environmentalist bills have been passed um, under Republican watch. It's it's you have to uh, in in commemorating the 53rd anniversary of Earth Day. I, I think for us, what we need to recognize is that the environmentalists won. They won big time. Environmentalism is no longer a question mark. It's no longer a, a considered a radical ideology. It's not considered uh, a controversial ideology. Pretty much everybody uh, is an environmentalist. They've managed to equate and do a very good job creating this package deal and equating environmentalism with clean air and clean water, something that all Americans do and should care about. Uh, but but even when it comes to I don't know some little worm or some environmental inspections that take seven years in order to build a new highway or just shutting down uh, you know uh, uh, nuclear power plants or, or other aspects of the energy sector, uh, it is just it has just become standard uh, that everybody agrees with this to some extent maybe. Maybe the approach is some of them are nutty, some of them are extreme, but generally, I mean, who's against the environment? I, I mean, it, we even talk about the environment as if there is such a thing. Who's environment, human environment, the spotted owl's environment, the, the worm's environment? Um, we just treat it as the environment, and we buy into the idea that the environment is really a human environment, but that's not what the real environmentalists care about. But they've won that debate. They, they basically convinced us that they are the... Uh, benefactors and the preservers and the uh, guardians of human life and human prosperity and, and, and clean and clean water. And in every respect, um, they won the day. Uh, there's no opposition to it. It's not like the Republicans are anti-environmentalists. No, they, they have a soft approach to the environment, but it's still, they still are environmentalists. They all... They, all of them embrace that label and embrace the, the ideas. So um, it's, it's sad. Uh, the, the left, you know, basically has managed to take this um, idea of the intrinsic value of nature, the intrinsic value of stuff out there outside of human beings and make that a standard that pretty much everybody in our culture accepts. And there's almost nobody that fights against that and tries to, to segregate out the 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 things that are that we truly should care about clean air clean water real pollution and all the all the things that that uh, you know we should not and all the overreactions and all the the precautionary principle that basically says that if you can't prove that something's only be good to be good that there's no risk you shouldn't do it uh, and and the whole baggage of the environmentalist movement that basically has always always advocated for the sacrifice of man for the sacrifice of human well-being, for the sacrifice of progress and technology, for the sake of nature. And, uh, yeah, uh, it, you know, that battle continues. That battle continues. But, you know, you go out there and you talk to people, and this one is almost, it's almost impossible to talk about because they are, it's so ingrained in it. Now, Alex Epstein is fighting against this in one dimension of it, 
but I don't think he's and he's and he's trying to reframe the debate around it in terms of uh, human flourishing. But the reality is that even uh, Alex, while he's had significant impact um, in in some areas and certainly significant impact um, uh, within the industry and and among some politicians. The impact has not been that broad as to bring into question the the whole legitimacy of the environmentalist movement, the whole legitimacy of an Earth Day uh, that is, is is still far in our future if we want to challenge those things. But uh, it's um, it's sad and tragic, and and uh, and uh, one of the things that many of us have to really think about is is why we're losing and, and how come we're how, how come um, how come we haven't been more successful in in challenging this thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show if you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me you get value from listening you get value from watching show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.